Guys, Ted Walters here. Welcome to my studio down at Trufa Golf Center here in Warrington. Today's topic I want to talk about is how to create a shallower angle of attack at impact. So let's take a look. Okay, so when we're talking about shallow and the angle of attack, we're talking about the club not coming down steeply, with so almost the shaft standing up, coming down steeply here. We want to feel the club traveling more around the circle so that the bounce of the club, the sole of the club, you know, can get a little bit more interaction with the ground. You know, one of the biggest things where we see people slicing a golf ball is because they're coming across from the out, so the club head moves outside our ball to target line and comes down steeply and across. And from that point of view there, we see it's the toe that digs into the ground. So this bit, which is coming into the ground here. We want to feel like we get the lie angle of the club and we deliver it with the toe up in the air rather than the toe down towards the ground and the heel up in the air. So if we can get that delivery, so from my setup position here, if from here, if we can get the feeling that the heel is down more towards the ground, the toe is coming up more, so from here, so from this shallow position, rather than the steepness of the toe down, then we're gonna have more success as we go through. So, little drill to practice while you're on the driving range. Empty your basketballs out into the tray, get the basket and just turn it upside down. I've got my alignment stick here, and I've gone through the, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, holes along this, the first six here, the first line, I've got the second hole in, I've got my alignment stick in and I've just put it on an angle, rested against the bottom, the back side of the basket there. So we've got this angle. Now, if I was to hit the shot here, I've just got my eight eye, so if I was to make a sort of a steeper downswing where I stood the shaft up, you can see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna come down here and I'm just gonna hit the cane as we go through. What we wanna do is we want the back swing to come down underneath so it's from a shallower angle. So again, we've got that angle there. If we look, I've exaggerated the feeling there, but the hands and the handle is quite low. The toe is up and the heel is down. That's the exaggerated feeling of what we wanna try and get. So let's hit a couple of shots and try and create a couple of that nice feeling see how the strike goes and just want to make the back so we want to get down so the body to rotate nicely club coming down handle low heel coming down towards the ground before the toe so here we go and we just push it out there really nicely and these are just sort of half to three quarters speed in terms of their swing. We don't want to be going sort of full out in its movement because if we do go full out in our movement, we're more likely to make our historical moves. So you're more likely, if you've got any of this feeling, to get a little bit over there. So just nice and smoothly, we're just going to be around in a back swing and then under the cane. So the hands feel low, the toe feels like it's in the air. And we're just nice and smooth and just pushing them out. If we can practice in this way, what you're going to find is that when it comes to hitting your shots, you've got that feeling of being able to shallow the shaft for the club to travel more from that desired inside path. So we'll hit more good controlled shots. You'll find it easier then to be able to control your face to path so that when we take that out of the way and then we just hit normal shots, normal full speed shots now. That feeling that we want of the shaft shallowing, the club coming underneath the cane, so the handle's a little bit lower, and it feels like the toe is more off the ground going through impact. And there, nice shot, a little bit of draw, perfect results. <coughs> Guys, as always, post your comments in the box below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. The more we can communicate and interact, the better and better understanding you guys will be able to get. As always, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you don't already do so. Just click the link in the bottom of the screen there below. You can catch me on social networks. The links are in the description below the video. And I look forward to seeing you guys again next time. Thanks for watching.